Okay guys, welcome to my channel. This is Dayton on Last Resort. So here we are with my LG uploading washer with True Balance, which is the opposite because it's never balanced. It's lasted probably, we bought it maybe four or five years ago and it held up pretty good up until this last year. Then it's uh, an uneven load no matter what we do and how carefully we lay out all of our laundry into it. One article of clothing at a time, trying to wrap it around nicely and evenly. No matter what we did, we'd still get the uneven, probably about, oh, maybe six or seven times before we can finally get a load to, to clear. Or we'd have to unload it till there was just a few articles and then there's wet clothes laying on the ground while we're waiting for the other ones to, to wash and get done. Anyway, if you've had this problem, you know how aggravating it is. And I have gone through every single LG uneven washer video that I can find and done all of the normal things. Just to get going here real quick, just to show you what I did that finally seemed to fix the problem. I've now ran probably 10 loads through it over 48 hours, but um, day before yesterday was when I put this together. Um, actually, just to show you real quick, I've, I've got just a, a Oh, what is it? Chisel here that I that I use to pop mine open. There should be like some little tabs right here. I've got it marked. You just kind of push in there and pull up, and then another one here on this side. Push there, and you're going to lift the entire lid. So when I come back to you, I'll have to scoot out, scoot out a little bit, and the lid, the top, lifted up. Okay. Okay. So I've hit my tabs down there. Like I said, there's just two tabs right there. You push against them with that chisel or file or whatever you've got. Screwdriver can work also. Flathead, you shove it in there. So you pop against those clips, okay, bring it up here, see if I can hold it up. So I did watch another video that says to anchor these four uh, springs to different ends. Uh, I even drilled some holes here, as you can see, drilled some holes here to fasten it down to here, this little hook area there. I tried that on all four corners. Um, and it made more noise and bounced around more than ever before. Um, so after uh, much swearing, I don't swear in front of my kids. Uh, I, I hold that back for special occasions and uh, probably swore an entire uh, six times in front of my kids. Four of those times was two nights ago as I was trying to get these springs in place in a way that would actually do the job that I wanted it to do. It just wasn't happening. So. Looking down at the drum, I did replace these rods, all four rods. Um, total cost on those is for like 25 bucks a piece. Um, I went down to Mending Shed, shout out to you guys, uh, to pick those up in uh, uh, Orem, Utah. Um, so look them up if you're needing those. They sent me the right ones the first time. Uh, great customer service. Anyway, I sent those, I, I did I replace those. Got maybe two loads into it and I started getting, I thought it was fixed, started getting the error again. And I mean, before I replaced the rods, I was getting four or five uneven loads every load. Um, after having two good ones, so I know they helped out, it just didn't do everything. And I'm sure my springs were worn out. So this is the thing that you do after you've replaced those rods. Um, what I did was I was looking down and seeing how like the drum was moving around. I could see that like the drum would pull away from the rod. You can see the rod coming down here. It would pull away from the rod. So I actually looked for a way that I can hook the spring on and maybe pull the rod closer so it could actually, you know, pull the rod and keep it close so it's not pulling away from it. Um, after trying to hook the spring on to, to hold the closer to the rod a couple times, it just wasn't working. Um, I went out and grabbed just a bungee cord out of the garage and honestly this is one I, I picked this one out of an assortment that was over at Harbor Freight because who doesn't love Harbor Freight um, and I wrapped it completely I wrapped this bungee cord starting in this corner here I wrapped it up over the lip of the drum there and around each rod okay don't know if you can see that but just around each rod. Um, it is pulled as tight as I believe this extension or this uh, bungee cord could go and hook back to here. Now I do get a little bit of sound of the rocking, as you can hear that. I do get some of that sound, not a big deal to me. I'm at my wits end with this washer. Um, really thought it was time just to throw it out to the street. And uh, doing this bungee cord, I've now, like I said, run 10, 
load through it and um, I've had no problem with all 10 where I actually got caught up after being behind probably a week's worth of laundry. Um, finally got ourselves caught up in, in the last two days. So this worked out great for us after you put the bungee cord around just shut the lid and, and get it started. So no problem there. If you have any questions go ahead and hit me up in the comments. I'll go over everything else that I've tried to get this washer to fix the uneven load. I mean I've replaced the motor in the base um, where the bearing is. Uh, re replaced uh, the disc here that floats up on the top of the drum. Um, I've looked for whatever sensor it is that tells it it's uneven because even before it did not look like it was uneven. It would barely rock at all and I'd still get the uneven code. It just seemed like there was no win for me. Um, but this bungee cord did the trick. Um, it's the white with blue stripes, Harbor Freight, uh, probably one of the longer cords, longest cord in the assortment there that made it all the way around this drum. Anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. This is what worked for me. All right, good luck, you guys.